In ALL, we have traditionally relied on complicated regimens of conventional chemotherapy, uh, uh, steroids, vincristine, asparaginase, um, um, myelosuppressive uh, chemotherapy regimen uh, agents given in various phases and combinations. And with those uh, conventional chemotherapy regimens, we've been able to cure a substantial number of patients, particularly younger patients. However, um, there is still a huge unmet need. Many patients, particularly adults and older adults, experience inadequate responses to therapy or have therapy that comes back after initial response. And so we are certainly in need of better um, drugs and better treatment regimens. Uh, Linitumab was the first so-called novel agent. Uh, a, uh, it's a bispecific T-cell engager targeting CD19 and CD3 uh, that was approved for relapse disease and then also gained an approval for uh, persistent MRD after initial therapy with chemotherapy. And so this has been really a valuable uh, addition to our therapeutic armamentarium. Um, I think the, 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 the f phases of therapy where it's been most successful are in the MRD setting where the response rates are quite high or in relapses that are relatively low disease burden. Uh, uh, it's been less uh, effective in uh, patients who have high burden disease or extramedullary disease. So recognizing the strengths of blinatumumab, uh, where it's very, uh, very effective at reducing and eradicating MRD and low burden disease, certainly a uh, question that we all have is whether or not incorporating blinatumumab into upfront regimens as a consolidation approach, um, and, and whether or not that should be offered to all patients or select patients based on their response or uh, particular features of the disease is where, uh, the, where the future is of this drug. Who should be getting this patient who should, which patients should be getting this drug as part of their initial therapy. The uh, ECOG cooperative group uh, in the U.S. conducted a study um, uh, where patients were randomized to receive blinitumab or not during the consolidation phase. Uh, that trial has met accrual and we certainly uh, will be looking forward to those results um, in the c coming years to, to learn about more about which adults should receive blinitumab as part of their upfront therapy.